So as you can see at the bottom right here, this one is more longer, this one is more shorter. It's a short comparison for you all. It's more shorter a little bit comparison with the original one. So guys, I just received a mailbox. Uh, eh? Why like this? Ah? So this is the short shifter ah, for my RX7 FC. But it's already broken like this. I'm not sure is it they got steal anything. If got steal anything, I just file a complaint to the JNT. It's already broken like this. Let's see, let's see. This is the discontinued product, which is they call it the C shifter. It's a used one. I bought it from Mizumi online and then this one. This is the shifter. C shifter. Short shifter, this one is more longer. Okay, let's compare the shifter first. How's the original one? First gear. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Reverse. Now let's just take it out. First gonna take out the shift knob. This is the original RE Amemiya shift knob. It's quite heavy though. It's very very heavy. Then just peel out. There's no screws in between this and these things. Okay, just a clip. So there are three screws. Alright, and then just straight, pull it out, like this. So let's make a comparison. This is a C shifter of what they call the CS shifter, is it? C shifter. This is the original shifter. So as you can see at the bottom right here, this one is more longer. This one is more shorter. It's a short comparison for you all. And attention, for the S4, this one actually is more smaller trade. Uh, for the S5, is bigger, like this. It's the same. This one is S5 or at Malaysia we call it the Mark 5. FC3S Mark 5. So there are some original pieces played inside. Just take it out. So guys, these things is where all the magic happens. It spaces up a little bit. So it will make your shifter more higher. So the shifter will become more shorter. So you just put it back like this. Okay. Then you're going to put in mm, these things at the top like this. So just put it at the top. Basically, it's very easy to uh, install this thing. And I'm not going to mess up uh, whole pieces of this because it's already assembled everything together. So now I just going to put this shifter back on. Oh yeah. And then relocate the screw. Then you must use the longer Allen key screws because it's already become longer. Short shifter. All right. Everything almost done. Oh yeah. Make sure to tighten up the three bolts. Oh. All right. Let's test it out. It feels way more shorter. It does a little bit left movement, like this, very soft, the right is quite stiff. Not sure is it will rattle or not. Never mind, let's just assemble back again and let's just go try it out. Okay, so right now, let's just try to shift. It's more shorter a little bit comparison with the original one. 
for me it's not short enough but it's okay drive see either got rattle or not Uh, my disc sleeve actually got a little bit broken never mind i'm gonna stitch it back but by now maybe i'm gonna temporarily gonna change to this uh bright just a temporary sementara lah sementara four phillips screws in case if you all not sure how to take this pin out actually uh is unnecessary you all just plug this rubber uh, like this all right like this so guys by the end you can't do anything as well <laughs> you need to take out all of this uh, pin is quite hard it's very small if not you cannot take out the sleeve and it's not one or two it's a lot man damn oh, finally Finally, this is a, a broken piece, but still can use. Just gonna stitch it back. See, gonna put on a new one. Okay, not bad. Uh. All right, guys. Right now, I'm gonna put back all this pin. Is it, it, it looks nice, right? It looks nice. Okay, <laughs> let's try it. Let's try it. Ugh. Hopefully, it works perfectly. Whew. There are four screws that you need to screw back. Put it back on. Oh, it fits. fits nicely right so guys again uh, the C shot shifter that I purchased from Mizumi online Johor Bahru okay let's take a look one more time 
It's not very short. It's not very far. Average. Right. 